Emotion charged greetings seem to be quickly followed by tearful send offs. Three days passed by in a flash for the families separated by the Korean War who finally met their loved ones again after almost seven decades of waiting and uncertainty. Cha Sang Lee zooms in on the heart wrenching scenes from the reunion venue up north. The second round of inter Korean family reunions began on Friday with the participants from the south driven by bus to North Korea's Mount Kumgang Resort. 81 people from North Korea were selected to meet with their South Korean relatives, numbering 326 people in total. The families met and had dinner for the first time in 68 years, some of whom had never seen each other before. <laughs> Cho Jung-gi burst into tears as he talked to his father. The elder Cho's wife was three months pregnant with their son when they were split across the border. On day two, the family spent some quality time together separately in assigned rooms, eating lunch and having candid conversations without supervision or press. The families exchanged presents too. <laughs> Before going into the private setting, Yun Chang Sop couldn't hide his delight after seeing his long lost uncle from the north. The last day came all too quickly. Long separated families finally reunited, but having to part ways again. <laughs> <laughs> the older sister promises they'll meet again in the future, knowing they probably won't. The participants say the three days they spent together, despite being under strict control, were amazing. The families had a session for exchanging letters, where some grandchildren, nephews and nieces wrote heartfelt letters for their grandparents, aunts and uncles, and vice versa. The grandchildren had never seen their North Korean grandparents before, but they invited them to their homes in the South. The venue for Sunday's farewell became a sea of tears, but it seemed they were happy deep down. The family said the three days flew by and they wanted to stop time so they wouldn't have to say goodbye. Just after lunch, though, the South Korean participants left Mount Kumgang, going home and heading back to their regular lives. Cha Sang-mi, Arirang News.